Good afternoon, everybody. It is Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I'm hopping on here today because I want to show you how to make this popcorn and cranberry. If you can see it, I just did a small little circle of it. Popcorn and cranberry garland for your Christmas tree. It's really cute, it's really easy, and it really doesn't take long. So let's get started, okay? So what I'm using is a 4.0 millimeter G hook. You'll need some darning needles, a pair of scissors, and whatever color you're choosing to make it. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. It's what I had on my stock cherry red just regular yarn acrylic yarn and it is four ply and I'm also using the red heart super saver white for the actual popcorn but you can use like an off color to make it look yellow you can do any colors you want there's no rule to any of this so Let's get right into it. You start with your normal slip knot. Okay. And I need you to chain 12, please. Okay, now after you got 12, we're going to do treble clusters. Don't get scared. Big word for something that's actually pretty darn easy. You take your, your yarn and you wrap it twice around your needle. Okay, let me see if I can bring in just a little bit more so you guys can see. Wrap it twice. Then I want you to go in a third chain from the hook. Put it in, grab your yarn, and come on out. Then you have four on your hook. Okay. You wrap, go through two, wrap again, go through two, and you hold it right there. Okay. Now I want you to wrap your hook two more times again. And go in that same chain, grab yarn, come back up. Then you'll have three, five on your hook. I need to push this back. I think I keep going off here. Then you wrap your hook. You go through two. You wrap it. And you go through two again. Now you'll have three left on your hook. One more time. Wrap it twice. Go in that same chain. Grab yarn. Come on out. Wrap. Go through two and two. And when you hold it, you will have four loops on your hook. You wrap your yarn around your hook, and now I want you to go through all of them. You wrap and you make three chains one, two, and three. And that locks that in there, okay? So then I want you to come down in the same spot where you did that treble cluster. You go in, you grab yarn, and you slip stitch. All right, then you go to the next chain, and you go in, you wrap, come through, and you slip stitch again. And then chain three. Don't worry, I'm going to do this with you. I would never leave you. Okay, now we're done to another cluster. Wrap twice. Go into the same chain that you did that last slip stitch. Grab and come on out. 
wrap the yarn you go through two and two it's always two and two so you wrap it twice go in grab it and come on back you'll have five wrap it two and two now you have three hooks three <laughs> loops sorry wrap it twice and we do it one more time wrap it and when you go through two and two you'll have four loops left on your hook that's how you know you're done then you wrap it and you go through all four and you always chain three to lock that in that needs to be locked in okay then you go down into that same stitch and you just do a slip stitch a slip stitch is you wrap the yarn come through and you go right through you don't wrap it again for like a single crochet so now you should have two little petals there now you go into the next stitch slip stitch and this is the repeating pattern okay let's do it again chain three the chain three helps lock in those slip stitches that's why they're so important now we do our our treble cluster wrap twice go in that same stitch wrap two and two do we have four on our hook nope so we do another one wrap twice go into that same stitch come on out two and two we don't have four on our hook so we do it again wrap twice go in grab wrap two and two now we have four that means that one is done you go through all four and you chain three and that locks that pedal right in. i'm calling them pedals for now right in and then you go down to that same stitch and then it's a slip stitch okay I'm going to the next chain and another slip stitch let's do another one together chain three those chain threes lock everything in so they stay nice and tight time for the treble cluster and two and two wrap twice two and two do we have four on our hook then we do it again two and two and there's our four go through and chain three now we have four looks like a flower almost and then what do we do we go down and we slip stitch we go back into our chain and we slip stitch to the next one The nice thing about these, you can make, say, three to five a day, and then make the same amount of black, um, the cranberries when I show you, and then you can have a small chain of them before the holidays. You chain three, and it's time for the cluster. on the hook I keep going off camera today I'm telling you I can be loopy sometimes I guess I don't even need anything to help me do it two and two and you have four go through all four 
and what we do, we chain three. After the chain three, it's two slip stitches in first in the stitch that you did, that whole cluster on. Then you go to the next one. Another slip stitch and chain three. Cluster. Now I'm just going to continue and I'll talk to you as we're going down. Keep going, you do this all the way to the end, okay? Same pattern. And once you do this, I sit in front of the TV and we can watch our shows, talk about things, and I don't even have to think too hard because I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for four loops on the hook. So we're able to do other things. So this is a very nice pattern. And they really do look like popcorn. Two slip stitches. One in the one that I did. And one in the next one. So I think with the stiffening projects of the snowflakes and I'm doing a candy cane I, I tried the glue method I tried the spray starch that I, you can buy at the, the grocery store and I activated it using the iron and to to no avail I I was not successful that doesn't mean other people haven't been I, if they are, then I'm obviously using the wrong supplies or I'm missing a step somewhere. Um, I'm doing something wrong. But so I've opted to do the, the starch, equal parts of starch and uh, water. And then you, you heat it up in a pan and then you have to let it cool a little bit so you you do not burn your fingers and that really works good so I will be doing a tutorial on that but I want to get since you're making a batch of it I, I really don't want to waste it this is a continuation and my camera stopped so I want to get as many snowflakes done as I can that way when I starch them, I don't have to keep throwing away and making a new batch. I'm not sure why the camera just stopped, but it does that once in a while. I got four on my hook and I go through all four and you chain three. And you slip stitch slip stitch to the next one and you keep going chain three and I'll be right back when I get to the end okay did my last flower petal then you still want to chain three in your very last chain and then I you need to slip stitch back down but after you slip stitch you take both your ends, you wrap it around your hook, slip stitch, well, chain through, okay? I want you to cut it. Now you should have 10 of these little petals, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. So then you interweave this any way, twist it, do everything you want to it any way you want to make it look like a popcorn. Then you take these two ends and you wrap them around the petals. And then what I do is I make a knot. And the reason I do this, if I can do it right, it holds your popcorn really tight. 
right. Popcorn is not something that you need to starch, obviously. So once you got it nice and tight, trim off your excess ends and squish it around to make yourself happy. And it actually looks like popcorn. I've tried to do it with the 3.5. I just don't like them as much, but you can try. Now let's do the cranberry. The cranberry is very simple. Simple, 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 and it's really fast. So let's do it. Start with your, your slip knot. Same hook, same scissors. Okay. Just chain two. One and two. All right. We're going to do the, the, the clusters, but we're going to do it bigger. Okay. So wrap the hook twice. And you go in your first chain. Grab it, come out, go through two and two. One and two. Wrap it again. Go in that same chain, come through. Two and two. Wrap it again twice. Go in, come on out. Go through two and two. Wrap it one more time. Go in there, grab it, come on out. Wrap it two and two. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. One, five. Okay? You wrap it, you go through them all. Now I want you to lock it in with one chain, one chain only. Then what you do, you go through here, the beginning chain where you started, the whole cluster, go through, grab the yarn and come on through and through. And then you take both strands, you wrap it and you go through like a chain. And you cut your string your yarn, pull it all the way through, okay. Now what I do is I take my crochet hook and I go through the center of the ball, wrap my yarn, come through, bring that yarn all the way through the center of that ball because it actually adds a little stuffing to it, okay. There's your little ball. Cut your string, your yarn. I keep on a string today. And there's your cranberry. Okay, popcorn and cranberry. So then all you need to do, you can take fishing line, Maggie suggested thread that you crochet, uh, thread that you uh, sew with. But I tried it with, what am I doing? I think I'm crocheting again. You just thin it through the head. I'm having trouble today. There we go. And all you do. You find this, the center of your popcorn and you pull it through. And then you, your cranberry too. And then you just keep rotating. You can do two cranberries or two popcorns. What You do whatever your heart desires. But that's all that you need to do to make the popcorn garland. I look forward to seeing comments and seeing lots of pictures. And remember, guys, we are doing a free giveaway of projects that we have made monthly. Maggie will be handling it. So please come follow us on WIP, WIP, and Chain on Facebook. And as always, please like and follow our YouTube page if this is helpful to you. And Maggie, Lauren, and I say thank you for everything. We appreciate all the love we've gotten with this group that we started with. Have a great day. Bye, guys.